my channel. My name is Ivy D and I'm here to talk all things beauty. For those of you who are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. My name is Ivy. I like to talk about wigs and stuff. Um, and I have another gorgeous wig for you guys today. This is another Bobby Boss unit. Um, I'm really excited about it. This color, as you can see, is just, I mean, ugh, so beautiful. Um, I am going to cut away, get this situated on my head. Um, and then I will be back to talk specifics with you guys in a minute. Don't forget to follow my new Instagram page, Ivy underscore D underscore beauty with three Y's. Um, and also don't forget about the new series that I have started on Thursdays called Throwback Thursdays, um, where I bring you guys some older units that we might have forgotten about that are still gorgeous, still fire, and also a little bit cheaper now. So make sure you catch those videos on Thursdays. Um, like I said, I'm going to go get this situated on my head and I'll be back to talk to you guys about her in a second. Stay tuned. I am back. This is a unit by Bobby Boss. It is one of their glueless lace wigs. It has 13 by 7 lace. It's pre-plucked. It's got baby hairs. It's got free parting all along the front. Um, this is another one of their HD transparent laces. Um, again, you know, we've seen in some of the other units that they have in this line. It's not necessarily HD, um, but we'll get to that in a second. It comes with a... Um, an elastic band in the back and of course it has two combs here kind of in the middle one comb in the back and then the adjustable straps the name of this unit is mlf 457 evangeline and i have it in the color honey lilac um it's also featured here on the back she's got it in a middle part and in a side part and then it just tells you a little bit more about the lace um that comes with this unit um i've already told you guys about the construction with the two cones and the adjustable straps it's definitely big head friendly i think the type of lace gives you a lot of room in the front so i'm really happy with that it's a good fit it feels secure but it doesn't feel too tight or uncomfortable so the fit is perfect um as for what i did you guys saw i did use an iron just to kind of lay the baby hairs back or the bangs because we all know they get crazy with these baby hairs so i did use an iron just to kind of lay those a little bit better um, but that was really it. Um, I put some powder on the lace. I do need to add a little bit more back here because you can kind of see like a gradient going on because I didn't put some back here. Let me do that now before I forget. But um, that was really all I did, just adding some powder to the part um, and some concealer to my wig cap just to make it look a little more seamless. 
Um, other than that, I just popped it on my head and then secured it with a little bit of got to be and a little bit of free spray just to make sure that it wouldn't go anywhere. But the band really does give you a snug fit. So I really didn't feel like I had to use too much of these because it feels very secure. Um, for volume, it's a perfect volume. It's the curl is it gives it a very dense look. So there's plenty of hair here, but it's not too much to the point that it looks like fake or wiggy, like it's a good amount of hair for sure. Um, I am getting a few strands of shedding just as I pull my fingers through it. You know, I don't know how much of that like will stop. You know, sometimes you just have to give it like a good brushing and then you'll get all of those loose hairs out. But I kind of didn't really want to brush it too much because I didn't want to mess with the integrity of the curl. So I really haven't brushed it one good time at all yet. So I've kind of just run my fingers through it, but minimal shedding so far hopefully like I said that'll stop once I brush it you've got this deep deep violet color here in the back you've got this true purple color here in the front and then you've got a little bit of lilac right on top of this honey color so I mean I absolutely absolutely I absolutely adore this color it is it is gorgeous like there's it, it's so fun it's not too much um you could easily you know go to different venues and different events with this and i just i really love it i think it's very very pretty you guys let me know what you think about the color please tell me if this is too much for somebody because i feel like this is a really nice way to do color but some people might still be looking at this like this is too much so let me know if you're one of those people um the pros for this unit like i said the curl is really cute they've got like a loose wave here and then it gives you straight ends at the bottom and it's it's different from our usual curly looks so i like the look um, of it now in terms of this lace that everybody is so excited about is it hd lace i'm gonna say no i don't think it's hd lace um in my opinion you do have to add a lot of like concealer and powder in order to make it blend into your skin and that's not the point of HD lace. HD lace is supposed to be seamless. It's supposed to blend with every shade and every skin tone and this does not do that. You do need to help it along a little bit but in terms of how realistic it looks I do think that it gives you a pretty realistic feel um, as far as synthetic lace wigs go. So do I hate the lace? No. Is it HD? No but I'm not mad at that. I really like the look overall um pros to this unit i would say it does still give you a natural look even though it's not hd um the curl pattern is fun and still a little different the color is also very fun very different so those are all pros it's also long without being too long i would say this is probably like 24 inches or so and it's not like ridiculously long so i like the length as well um, the only con that I would say is so far, I've only had it on my head a few minutes, but I am feeling like I'm already noticing some tangling. So that I'm going to say is a con. It's not the worst tangling I've ever experienced, but I do feel it. I am getting it like there's, it's tangling. So I'm just running my fingers through it. Cause like I said, I don't really want to take a brush to it just yet, but I don't know if you can see my fingers are kind of getting a little stuck. As I finger comb so there is a little bit of tangling going on but it's not a, a ridiculous amount it's just something that I noticed um all in all I would give this unit a 10 out of 10 I love it I can't bring myself to take any points away from it because it's just so pretty so I give this a 10 out of 10 I think it is gorgeous um the only other thing I would say I don't think this one is very beginner friendly either so just keep that in mind if you're someone that's not really used to working with wigs this one might take you a little longer to to get situated um but all in all, I love it. This color is gorgeous. Go get it. I like, I can't, I can't say enough about it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, of course, leave them down in the description box. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And don't forget to follow my new Instagram, Ivy underscore D underscore beauty with three Y's. I will catch you guys. Actually, I'll probably see you very soon because I have quite a few new units that I want to, um, get get to you guys because I'm really impressed lately with some of these color combinations that are coming out so you'll probably see me tomorrow um but at any rate I will catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching see you soon bye